wish you all a very happy morning students today we are going to be with the first exercise of the second chapter of ncert that is polynomials this exercise is based upon geometrical meaning of zeros of a polynomial so as you all know the number of times the graph of polynomial p of x intersects the x axis gives us the number of zeros of that polynomial so based on this concept we are going to solve the questions of this exercise let me take the first question so this is question number 1 part 1 so these are the coordinate axis let us say this is the x axis and this is the y axis and this is the graph given of y is equal to p of x now can you see this graph let us say this is the graph of p of x is intersecting the x axis at some certain point certainly no so this graph will have no zeros it means p of x will have no zeros or we can say the number of zeros of p of x will be zero let us deal with the fifth question of this exercise the question says the graph of y is equal to p of x are given below for some polynomial p of x you just have to find out the number of zeros of p of x in each case so we are taking the fifth question now for so the fifth question what do we have this is the x axis and this is the y axis and the graph of the polynomial is given in this way this is the graph of y is equal to p of x now you have to say how many zeros are there of this graph so you can see the graph of p of x is intersecting the x axis at 1 2 3 and 4 different points so you will see that the graph of y is equal to p of x is intersecting the x axis at four distinct point so we can say number of zeros number of zeros of p of x is equal to four so basically the number of times the graph of p of x intersects the x axis gives us the number of zeros of p of x i hope in the same manner rest of the questions will be solved by you on your own thank you